Doug Thompson here, and we're in the shop today, and I'd like to show you how I set up to weld parts that need to be held in a, a perpendicular orientation to a plate. But I want to make a square that allows me to quickly fixture this part welded, knowing that I can move it back to perpendicular. Because if I weld here and it pulls over like that, it is devilishly difficult to pull it back. You're probably going to bend your part of it slender. Using this nice three quarter by two inch flat bar, I'm going to cut and make an unsquare square so that when I weld on this side, the part will be held off perpendicular and then I can just move it over to perpendicular with another square and perhaps weld the sides. So I'm four degrees off of perpendicular. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut a groove in this piece, so it's a round bar. Not only can I hold it like this with my unsquare square, but I'll also hold it like this with the groove that I'm gonna put in this piece. And I'm gonna cut a groove in that. Again, this is, this is not gonna be to the 10,000th of an inch. This is for kind of a shop made tool where you're gonna get yourself very close to what you want. That's gonna hold it in place. So that's what I'm gonna to wanna to do. So I'm just gonna line this up, my eyeball. I want this surface and this surface to be good to each other. I'm using cold rolled material. I've cleaned off my table, so it's sitting really flat. So I've got a pretty high degree of confidence that this is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the TIG welder. I won't weld back here. I'll weld here, here, two places here, then I'll flip it over, do a little bit more welding on the sides, and that'll be it. I don't want to put a whole lot of weld on right now. So I've got two welds on the top. I'll come over to the side. I want to put a weld down there on the bottom. All I'm trying to do right now is just tie these corners together, a little bit of weld. So now, I have this nicely tied together. I'm going to flip it over. Weld the other side. One, let it cool just for a second. Okay, that's one side. Flip it over and I'll do the opposite side. I'm gonna stay away from my little groove. Okay, I'm just gonna hold this. If I had lots of parts to do, I'd do something different. But I'm gonna weld this autogenously. I'm gonna come up on the cylinder a little bit and use some of the material from the cylinder to make the weld. So I've got some weld on this side, and I know that I'm off. Now that I've got the part square, I'll come in and I'll weld on the two sides. So the first tack, again, is on the opposite side of the unsquare square. Then the two sides, then the back side. 